Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audemars Row in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XSC technology. Now the most suitable features on this technology is its power moonroof. You also have your parking sensors along with your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2021. Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XSC technology. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this technology is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lights and then if you take a closer look just at the front bumper you will find your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you do have your integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, and then you'll find the blind spawning indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it as well. And then taking a look up top, you have the roof rack and the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is gray. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior, power driver's seat with lumbar support. You have your automatic headlights, or high beams I should say. And then you also have the heated steering wheel with the power lift gate release and window wiper de-icer. Mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control, mode select, and seek function. Now. If we take a closer look, you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is push one of the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, if you're unsure if it actually started up or not, with the hybrid system, if it says ready just down below there, it has actually been started. Now, a couple of the features that you will see just on the multi-informational display include your uh, distance to empty with your average fuel economy. You can also go through and take a look at a couple of other additional features as well. So if you actually take a look, you have your compass, lane departure alert, audio, energy monitor, all wheel drive, trip info, and in the settings menu, you have a couple of other additional features that you can personalize for yourself, which include your lane trace assist, blind smoke monitoring, parking sensors, and a couple of other additional features. You'll finish with your messages menu and you have an exterior temperature gauge as well with your digital clock. Now, taking a look just at the center dash area, as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on there. So just while that's loading up, as you can see, it does have the premium JBL sound system in here with the Sirius XM satellite radio. And then if we go inside the menu screen, as you can see with the home screen, you have the split panel view. And then inside the menu, you'll find your destination audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. You have your hazard lights, dual zone, climate control settings, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, trash control on and off, USB and power outlet with your wireless charging pad, and it's matted to an automatic transmission. Now, as you can see, you have your trail, eco, sport, and EV mode, and then you have the normal mode as well. So as you can see, when you actually change the mode, the color will actually change as well. Now, if you take a closer look up top here, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror, as well as the integrated garage door open controls. But if you actually take a look on the back, you have that little arch right there on the back window. That's actually your camera for here. So as you can see, you can actually keep track of how closely someone's following behind you just by flipping this. And then if you want to go back to being the mirror, you just flip it back once more. Now, taking a look up top, you do have your light controls, SOS Connect, open and close and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof and your sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines and they're making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And then you also have the option of changing up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, if you take a look on the back, you're gonna find your backup camera underneath and your rear hatch release located in the center. The other nice thing is that you do have your parking sensors located right across. And then all you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have the cargo cover in the back, which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. 
And then you have a 60-40 split for the rear seat as well, in case you need more additional room. You have the cargo net in the back here as well for smaller items, and the cargo liner. Now the nice thing with the cargo liner is if you spill any liquids on here, it's easy to clean up afterwards because you can have it removed and clean it properly afterwards. You'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit located underneath. And then you can flip this piece over just in case the cargo that you're hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side. You can also lower this piece down a little bit further just in case you need a little bit more extra space up top. And the other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height, or I should say the height you set it at. And if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com. Need us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.